All right, welcome back. This is uh, episode three, transporting the seeds into the rock wool. So what do we currently have? As you can see right here, I just want to actually uh, show you guys, we're back in business. This thing has been cleaned. All the reservoirs have been cleaned. I got three up here. Usually three go down there. We got the fan that's cleaned up. This area has been just sitting still for a few months just kind of uh, waiting but now I'm super hungry for some delicious vegetables I'm uh, actually trying to go on an all plant-based diet um, starting in July 1st I recently went about a hundred and twenty hundred and something days with no meat and uh, it was pretty cool just got bored of not eating meat so I am trying to get back on that train. Anyway, as you can see here, I am getting revved up. I'm getting set up to get back into uh, growing phases. Um, so what are we doing today? We are transporting those seedlings into the rock wool. Basically, as you see right here, I kind of have two different sections. I got this huge tub here of my, uh, of my clay pebbles. Okay, those things go into the neck cups when we're... Uh, when we're holding, when we are holding the um, the rock wool in the actual uh, hydroponics, so for this, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need one of these long trays. Okay, this tray has kind of like these little divots, and that will allow the water to seep through these. And these are like little. Um, basically, we put the um, the rock wool in here. As you can see, they already come with holes. So when you put water and add additional water as the roots get settled in, you're basically going to be feeding um, the seeds while they are under the light and they're taking you know the proper time prior to transporting them from here into the net pods into the actual reservoirs. All right. So basically, you're going to need these guys. You're going to need one of these. You're going to need this thing right here. This is like this like, huge dome. Let me actually step back real quick and show you. So it looks like that. Okay. This will allow uh, humidity controlled. Basically, uh, w once you add everything in there under the light, this will cause, uh, you know, it's like a humidity dome. You could, you, know, you could also control the humidity levels of airflow through these two ventilations right up here. Um, but overall, you want to keep this covered. Every day you can open it up. There will be condensation inside. It's all good. You want to be watering your uh, seedlings every single day. And I will go into that as we go through this transplant video. And uh, I'm actually going to call episode three um, nurturing. Okay, nurturing is basically what we're going to be doing to the seedlings prior to putting them into the actual reservoirs. So in this situation right now, all we're doing is this. We're using this, we're using these, basically we take these, okay, and just simply place them. Now these have been soaking overnight, okay, I've had these soaking for basically 24 hours. And I'm going to spread these all throughout here, alright, why don't I go right to that point right about now. And there you go, they're all filled up. So. Uh, as you can see here, we have all these lined up. Basically, each reservoir is going to have nine. So what I did was I went six, four, or three, whatever. Because as I mentioned to you before, not every single seedling is going to make it through. First, I take my little stick here. Also, I already have my seedlings that have already sprouted. Basically, as you can see, all those little green heads, they are everywhere. Now, I'm having a little issue with this one right here. This is the butter lettuce. Unfortunately, it totally did not do what I wanted it to do. Now, let's see here. I mean, um, this looks like it might be enough. I might be able to scrape up what I'm looking to do. Um, it's just not really enough for me to maybe fill all of these. The next thing I do is some of these holes are kind of, they're kind of closed up in the beginning. So what I do is I just take this kind of and just put, in, uh, put, the, uh, put the stick inside each one. Just kind of twirl it around. Now some of you are still saying, what is this, you know, rock wool? Basically, as I mentioned before, this is like the dirt for hydroponics. This is what we're going to be using to gr actually grow our food in. And um, as the food is gradually developing, the root systems will actually come right through the bottom, um, seeking oxygen directly from the oxygen that we're going to be providing through a pump 
and the aerator stone. All right, well, now that these are ready, basically here's all I do. It's a very simple process. I go in here, and for example, watch this. So I grab this little guy right here, okay? It immediately sticks to the wood. Obviously, you're gonna go green head up. I just take this and gradually place the little guy in here and slowly and easily, taking my time, sticking him inside of the rock wall. Okay, I mean, basically, if you kind of placing him in there, try not breaking that stem because um, that's the little guy's lifeline. Okay, you want to be very careful as you put them in. I mean, you know, you don't have to take forever. But as you're doing it, you will realize what I'm talking about. Now, I'll definitely have enough. This is the basil. Ah, uh, no, the, uh, yeah, that, this is the basil. So, uh, let me actually, um, let's fast forward as all these will be uh, basically stuffed with some seeds. And voila. Alright, so all of these are now filled. As you can see here, I put all the romaine. Actually, this is all the basil. We have the romaine and I went romaine. I just had enough to fill basically 18 remains and I'm fine with that. Actually, there was one, this one right here, um, of the uh, the butterhead lettuce. And I'm, I'm pretty fired up for the fact that I was not able to, um, I wasn't able to um, germinate those butterheads the way that I wanted to. Okay, I mean that, I don't know what happened. Maybe they went old, maybe they went bad, but I mean, I have a lot that did not germinate and I don't know what's up with that. So as you can see, once it's all ready, now here I'm going to talk about a few really important parts right here. And basically when it's like this, I do this just to separate them. So we're going to have this column, let's say it goes here, this goes here, this goes here. All depends on how they grow, what they do. Now I want you to take note. Let me actually uh, take my cell phone. Now I'm going to be posting this tomorrow, which is going to be Thursday, June 15th. Okay, right now it's June 14th. So you'll be able to kind of, you know, figure out on your own the progress that has been developed over the last, you know, the next couple of days. As you can see, I mean, this is the most tedious part, honestly. Scooping them out, out of their little dishes, and then adding them into their rock wool. Okay, transport them into their rock wool and then putting them into this little environment that will allow them to start taking in sun, rising, and basically you'll see me kind of lifting these and just kind of looking them over to see if the root has penetrated through the bottom, which means it is now ready to be put into the reservoirs. Okay, so I mean this 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 was it. This is the transport stage um, The nourishment stage the nourishing starts next. That's going to be episode four. This is episode three I hope you learned a little bit and I hope you are taking notes and following the progress as we move along and uh, That's really it. Also, what's, what's really important a lot of times that people don't consider there's something called leggy plants leggy seedlings what happens in this case is a lot of times when a seedling gets put into this rock wall, it's actually pretty far from the light. Now, one of the things that I wanted to invest in, and I mean, it's like super cheap, whatever, it's $8, maybe $5, maybe $10. You want to get a dome. This dome is pretty high. I want to get a dome that's probably like halfway up here. So it's here. Which case I can bring this a lot closer to the light. Now, when these seedlings are basically fighting for light, literally, they're going to be fighting each other for light. They're going to be reaching for the light. Over time, if they're, if they're reaching too far, if this is too low from the actual artificial light that we're providing it here, they're going to start rising, 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 prematurely rising, and then falling over because they're going to become leggy. Their stems are going to become way too long. Their heads are going to start developing. They're going to flop over. Then you kind of have like an ugly plant and it's kind of irregular because it's going to be, it's going to be getting in a way. It's not going to be normal. It's not going to be uniform with the other plants. It's going to be edible, 
but it's going to get it potentially in the way of how other plants progress upward, which is important. So what I actually do is I usually take, once I'm done uh, filming here, I'm going to take this, put it on here. This will raise this level. Um, it might be actually a little too high. I usually put something just a little above. Well, wow, okay. There you go. Plants want some air. Uh, basically, and um, you know, during the nighttime, I do keep that dome on. And then, maybe when I get back from work, I usually take the dome off, give these guys air, and this is probably over like a two day span. I give them air, and um, I get them like fairly close to the light. This way they could really get, uh, absorb those colors, the spectrums that are coming down, and they'll start rising. I think this guy's already got a head start, this little guy right there. I mean, this guy's literally ready to go. Let me give you a close up of what these look like right now. This is literally a very, very, very interesting um, part. Isn't it cool? Like this, this little head right here is like red, and that's part of the uh, the butter plant. But all of these will be uh, romaines and basil's. I can't wait to have some of this delicious basil with a little bit of tomato and maybe mozzarella. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with mozzarella. I'm trying to actually cut down on the cheese too and stop dairy. Um, it's going to be an interesting ride for the next little while. I'm really going to try to stick with it and, and really, really live off my plants. I haven't really, every time I do this, every time I start these grows, I never fully take advantage of the access to the nutritional, you know, kitchen, the superstore that I have available right inside my own, own house. I do not take advantage and I've, I've talked about that before. I swear to God, I'm not even kidding you guys. I feel like these guys are like already opening up. This is going to be actually a really quick trans transformation, I swear to you. Um, it's going to be interesting. I might even do an interim prior to, you know, uh, during the nourishment stage actually, there's no interim. So we're going to have the nourishment stage next and I'm going to fill you in on the current progress of everything. I'm going to show you how I feed these guys and what we do from there. All right. Again, this was the uh, transport stage and this is where we are right now.